Alright guys, so I'm going to do part four of my divorce slash marriage update. So basically, um, I think where we left off was I talked about my ex-husband dating again. I got remarried in July. Um, it only lasted two weeks. I moved out. So anyway, so the day I moved out, um, my dad and I went to get my things with some other guys and... Um, when I walked up to the door, Will, or sorry, oh my gosh, <laughs> Jonathan walked out and he was just like really upset and um, didn't want anybody else to come on the property except for me. So I came and I got my things and it was so hard and so emotional because he was on, he was on his knees begging me not to leave. He was crying hysterically. Um, I was crying hysterically. It was just like the most horrible thing. When I was walking out the door, he was like literally begging, yelling, crying out for me to stay, like pleading with me to stay and not leave him. And I had to leave. So anyway, so it was just a big nightmare. And then long story short, his family got into a big fight with my family. The cops were called. Um, just a big, huge nightmare. So anyway, so we've been apart since August. See, so it's been, you know, several months and, um, since then I've just been living with my parents and which has been good because, you know, if they've been supportive of me and they've, you know, I've really needed to have some kind of financial support for a little bit. So they've been helping me, you know, they've been letting me live there rent free. Um, so, you know, that's been really nice. Um, so at this point, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do, um, as far as Jonathan goes, it's really hard because I do miss him and I love him and everything, but I, I just know that I am not ready at all for a relationship or let alone a marriage. And I'm still dealing with my own hurt and grieving time with my first husband, which I never let myself have. So, um, so at this point, you know, I'm just kind of taking everything really slow, um, I'm not sure if I want a divorce. I'm not sure if I want to be married. I don't really know what I want right now. Um, he, my current husband, <laughs> sounds kind of weird. Um, at this point, he hasn't really made any efforts towards restoration, which in order for us to work with our marriage, I really needed to see some things from him. Like I needed him, for one thing, to get a job. He still does not have a job. Uh, which actually he did have a job where he was only being paid eight an hour when I moved out he got hired but he lost it and he lied to me and told me that he had a job when he didn't so I found out that he got fired because he took off to go to something with his parents so anyway so he has no job right now um he asked his mom and dad if he could move back home with them but they told him no which I'm so glad because he needs to learn to be an adult and grow up and pay his own rent um so they forced him to stay there. So he has a roommate now to help pay his rent. They're paying the rest of it for him. They're paying his bills for him. Um, he did apply for this one job, but he hasn't heard anything back from them in weeks. And he says that he's called them, but who knows? Um, so that's, that's a huge issue. I cannot be with anybody who cannot support me who cannot support himself, you know, like, anytime we ever would go out on dates, which we did a couple of times after I left, it was always me paying all the time, um, even when we dated, you know, I paid all the time, and there's nothing wrong with the girl paying, but I do think the guy should take a certain responsibility and be able to take his girl out on dates, and, um, he just can't do that, so, and then, Another huge thing was his church. Like, I really, I was very concerned about some of the things I saw there. I really felt like he was being held back at that church by his, his family, even though I know that they mean well and they love him, but it's just, I didn't feel like it's very healthy for him. But he still continues to go to the church. He still continues to do whatever they want him to do. Um, but I think a lot of it is because he's afraid that if he leaves, then they'll pull their financial support from him. So he's kind of staying until he gets a job. But he knows how much I really don't want him to be there. And he, yet he continues to go. So that's a huge issue. Thirdly is my family. Um, you know, I really want my family to accept my husband. And at this point, they never want to see him again. They don't want to talk to him. They told me that if I 
uh, moved, moved back with him that they would have nothing to do with him. And basically it's kind of like, I, I kind of feel like they've said, you know, either choose us or, or Jonathan. And that's a really hard place for me to be in. So I, re I would really like restoration with my parents. I would really like them to accept him. I would like him to, you know, apologize to them for the way he treated them because they both, you know, said some really mean things to each other. I just want restoration on both sides. So that's a huge factor. Another factor is healing. You know, I've been getting counseling. Um, I've been working on myself. I've, I, you know, I still have a long way to go. I still have lots of healing but at least I'm taking the steps towards it, and he has not, and he's had lots of opportunity to meet with people for counseling. He, well, there was always a reason why he couldn't, um, which for a while I believed him that things came up. You know, I understand that, but it just felt like every single time that he had an opportunity to meet with someone, he couldn't. So it's kind of like, okay, you know, are you really serious about this or are you not? So that's another huge thing because he has some, you know, really big issues. Um, he's been suicidal. He's been, um, you know, cutting himself, things like that. He's been texting me at 3 a.m. saying about how he want, he doesn't understand why he even exists and his whole life is over, blah, blah, blah. And it just really drags me down emotionally. And I really need him to be strong emotionally. In order to do that, you have to get healing. You've got to get counseling, you know, and he's just not, he's, you know, not doing that. So anyway, so this point's like, I'm at a standstill of, should I move on with my life and proceed with the divorce and just be single for a while and focus on myself and then, you know, get married again to someone who, you know, can support me financially and is mature and, you know, all these things? Or do I wait around for him to get his act together? I mean, it could be years. I don't know. I mean, I will be 30 next, well, yeah, next month. Oh my God, I will be 30 next month. And, you know, I, I still want to have children. I still want to have a husband. I miss having all that. But I don't miss the, the dysfunction. I don't miss the constant emotional turmoil of all this. I don't miss fighting constantly. And I really just want wholeness. So um, if you guys have any advice or thoughts, I'd love to hear it from you. But basically, that's about it trying to think if there's anything else. I'll update you guys if there's anything else. Um, I'll probably do a, a video just kind of recapping everything that I just put together in this. This is kind of rushed, but um, yeah, but I just wanted to share my story and hopefully it will help someone out there who's gone through the same thing. I really just want to be a support and a source for someone to feel comfortable to talk to. So um, anyway, so I think that's about it. So I'll talk to y'all later. Thanks. Bye.